Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the latest from SK Hynix, the gold P31 one terabyte SSD. NVMe N.2, you can see here that the SK Hynix is using the latest technology with the 128 layer non-technology. So this is brand new, speeds of up to 3,500 megs per second on the read and 3,200 megs per second on the write. So this new 128 layer NAND flash technology is the fastest, newest technology for consumer-based SSDs. We're looking at um, a mean time before failure of about 1.5 million hours, so that's quite a bit. And you can see there's 750 terabytes uh, also of written data, so that's a lot if you can see right there. Now, as a global pioneer, these folks make the chips for many of the RAM modules that we see out there. They're actually making their own SSD, so you know that you know, they're the ones that manufacture the chips and now they're making their own available for the consumer. Now I've got a test machine here that I've put it in, doesn't hold it back. We get to use the full uh, bandwidth of this through my benchmarks. Now I checked it out first to see, you know, if it was running a PCI 3.0 X4 and it is, uh, you, as you can see right there from the stats. Uh, it's running about 35 degrees Celsius right now and it does not come with a heat sink, so keep that in mind, you can add your own but this one does not come with that and it runs at 35 degrees Celsius you can see it and um, well the sequential read and writes are crazy you can see an addo disk um, benchmark here that uh, when I run this the sequential read and writes are bang on what it advertises on the box so 3600 megs per second there on the read and just about 30 200 megs per second on the right. So very well done there to meet the expectations. Now, I am running the one terabyte SSD. They do have a 500 gigabyte model if you're interested in that. And I'll add the links below to the pricing, by the way. You can see here that Crystal Disk Mark 8.0 is also concurring on those results for the sequential read. And there are other types of tests. Some of them involve compression. Some of them involve different amounts of data, right? And uh, really, I like to show you a variety so that you can see the consistency that I'm getting in those results, right? So another test that I like to run is the AS SSD benchmark. Okay, that one also does a series of tests, including their own version of sequential read and writes. And uh, you can see there that they came out to roughly close to 3,000 megs per second there on the read and about 2,800 on the write, okay? So on the... Um, IOPS, which is the operations per second that we got, you can see there those numbers. And by the way, you can pause the screen at any time if you want to compare these results with other scores online. But um, what I did is I ran the performance test 9.0 because that one actually compares this SSD to other types of SSD. So you can see how this one just takes off. It's so much faster than your traditional SSD. And compared to other NVMe SSDs, this is really at the high top end. So what do, I, what do I mean by that? Well, look at the score that I got here of 30,259. I went online and I compared other results. This is in the top 10, basically, okay? So you can see that it's right up there in the top 10 fastest NVMe M.2 SSDs out there in the market for the consumer. So this is top of the line, fast stuff. Again, why wouldn't it be? These are the manufacturers of the chip. On ADA64 DiskMark, you can see here the linear read, there's some random read and buffer read results, consistent, again, close to the 3,000 megs per second mark. PC Mark 10 gives me some real world results, trying to emulate, you know, doing some graphic editing and uh, office applications, things like that. So it gives you an average on how much bandwidth to expect when it's, uh, you know, doing these, these types of uh, workloads. So there you, there you have it. And also I compared this result online so that you can see there how this compares in PC Mark 10 to other SSDs that were also benchmarked with PC Mark 10. Okay, so if you're out there shopping around, you know what you're getting. You're getting quality, you're getting fast results, and definitely with this latest uh, technology, like I said, that new 128 layer NAND flash technology that they've introduced for the consumer market, they've really pulled ahead. I'm really impressed with this. And um, for the price, it's not bad at all as well. Um, on Amazon.com, I have uh, seen it there in U.S. dollars, of course. The prices uh, do vary depending on where you shop. But it was $134.99, so $135 U.S. at the time when I made this video. And the 500 gigabyte model is about $75 uh, US, okay? Um, of course, 
you can always visit the website and see other areas, other stores where you can purchase this as well. I'd like to thank SK Hynix for providing it. Comment below, let me know what you think. And again, thank you for watching.